r slash legal advice. Different avocado 636 says. Neighbor is a cop who ran unsolicited background check on me, reported it to internal affairs and now has been using the law as surrogate bullies against me. What started as silly neighbor dispute spiraled entirely out of control when I discovered that my neighbor, who is a detective for the sheriff's department, had ran a comprehensive background check on me. This was discovered via text messaging when he insulted slash degraded me over misdemeanors I had many many years ago. I reported this to the internal affairs department and their investigation revealed that he used local PD resources to conduct his check. Whether he was reprimanded or not I was told is confidential and left it at that. Since doing this however, this neighbor and his wife have called law enforcement on us upwards of 20 times now. Most calls have been unfounded with the officers coming by stating they have to come out due to the call, but no corrective action needed, and others have been for seemingly minor issues such as music playing during a BBQ we're having with company over, working out in my garage to some music, or parking related things such as slightly blocking part of the sidewalk. It's made our life a living hell as we've started to live in constant fear of police randomly showing up to our door for either no legitimate reason or if we're just trying to enjoy time with loved ones within reasonable hours i can't stress enough that it's my wife our two toddlers and i and we seek only to raise our family in peace we're not some frat house slash drug house or anything like that and never make unreasonable noise at unreasonable hours but what are the point of being afraid of even having guests over anymore for fear slash embarrassment of the police showing up? Most of the officers that have come, we've pleaded our case and provided them evidence of what we've been going through. They seem to be sympathetic, but don't seem to be able to offer much more help. We've reached out to our county court for mediation services in hope we can stop this behavior, but in wanting to ask our slash legal advice, now, is there anything else we can do to find some sort of help? For context, county is Noose's county in Corpus Christi TX. Branda Bitha Beach says. Call the records department for the police agency where you live and ask for a copy of every call with your address. Look through them and see what they say. If a majority of calls say things like unfounded, and no crime or no violation the call the agency neighbor works for, and make an apt with command staff someone in charge such as a RLT or captain, to file a formal complaint. Bring copies of those calls, explain everything to the supervisor and leave them with the copies. If nothing changes you might consult a lawyer about harassment eater, I was a police dispatcher for years and this is what I would do. The way itis says. Make sure you are documenting everything, and the request is in writing by letter. Even better to scan the letter and email to the relevant people. Uftbuapnjia says. In some places, there are nuisance laws that can be applied to properties that call 911 too many times for frivolous reasons. You might want to look into that. Honor a litigator says. Have you reported all of this to internal affairs? You can also contact a civil rights lawyer about suing the department, or sending a letter to the police chief threatening to sue, if the guy doesn't knock it off. I don't think his superiors at the police department will be pleased with this behavior, if they learn about it. Zish says. I'm guessing a lawyer would grab their attention more than anyone else. Jeldus Ekifuzuli says. I don't know why well, lawyer isn't the first suggestion. Messing with police officer can go wrong, even though it's a small chance. They have authority to use gun on you. I wouldn't risk it. A lawyer would be taken more serious by the police department. Additional Peak 3911 says. Not sure what Texas uses, but in my state a lot of our tools for background checks slash investigations are monitored by the FBI and regularly audited. Maybe send a tip to the local FBI office that someone is possibly using their shit for this. Potential Ganache 819 says. Criminally, you have little to go on. You may be able to request 911 transcripts and be able to prove that they've been filing false reports with the intent abuse of law enforcement. 
From there, you can likely establish a case to seek some kind of charges against him to the effect of malicious pursuit, abuse of official resources, or even simply falsifying a police report. Even if you aren't able to make charges stick, this could be a good show of force to demonstrate that you're more than willing to go after his career as far as the law permits. I can't imagine his beef with you is so strong that he's openly willing to risk his job, he more than likely just simply thinks that he's not going to be held accountable. Civilly, you can consult an attorney to write a strongly, but safely, worded order to cease all contact and harassing behavior. You can't exactly bar someone from calling 911, so this may or may not give results, but could be a faster route to making a bold statement about your willingness to push back legally. Lastly, you can file a complaint outside of his department. I'm not a detective, but I... r slash legal advice sweet love illumination says my aunt is in a coma and her boyfriend is spending on her credit card among other expenses how can we as the family stop this leech my aunt 50s f was hit by a drunk driver in december she's been in a coma ever since the night of the accident her long-term boyfriend 50s m was there by her side along with my mother her sister, 60s F. As a family we knew about the boyfriend, but had never met him. Aunt Sapple Watch alerted both my mom and the boyfriend of the accident, and it was a very positive introduction to him. He seemed to really care about her that night. However, since the accident, the boyfriend has been spending so much on my aunt's accounts. My mom is the next of kin and emergency contact, aunt has no kids, never been married. Her and my mom are the only siblings and their parents have passed away. State is California. As we've come to find out, my aunt made this boyfriend an authorized user on two of her credit cards. Authorized user, not joint owner of the cards. But as an authorized user, he has spent thousands of dollars on these cards since aunt's accident. Aunt's bank account was set to auto pay these cards and it's now in overdraft. As we've also come to find out, aunt apparently consigned an apartment lease for this guy's apartment several years ago. She doesn't live there with him. The rent payments are also coming out of her bank account that's now in overdraft. As a family, we've tried to put a hold on payments, or stop all this stuff, but the various banks have said we have no right to do so, since we are not a conservator, or whatever. Even with doctor's notes that she's in a coma, they say we have no authority. We contacted a lawyer to see about obtaining a conservatorship, and they basically brushed us off and said it would cost $10,000 to try to obtain this and probably wouldn't work anyway. As a family we are so heartbroken and desperate. Our poor auntie is probably never going to recover fully, and will need full time medical care, if she ever comes out of this coma at all, according to doctors. Police have no leads about the accident, so all these costs are coming out of aunties and family's pockets. And meanwhile her deadbeat boyfriend is leeching all her money, that she's desperately going to need to pay for her medical care. We don't know what to do, or how to get a grasp of this whole situation. We just want her to get better, that's out of our control, and want to stop her boyfriend from taking all her money. Yet, when she was conscious, she chose to give him all this monetary access. Stupid weak decision on her part, but she did. Yet still, they are not married, and she never made him co-owner of any accounts. And this mother fair is spending so much money, while his girlfriend is in a goddamn coma. Ooh, ooh where do we even start? Obmum says. Tell the social worker in the hospital they should file an adult protective services report for financial abuse. It will be cross-reported to police. Family can also report to apps. Satanage lady says. This, but also, stay on top of it. Hospital social workers have large caseloads and the squeaky wheels get the attention. Listen said Miraclog says. The op needs to be the one to file the app's report, since they have first-hand witness of the financial abuse. 
a social worker would be reporting second-hand information which may be dismissed by the app's agency. They want to hear directly from the person who has witnessed abuse. Source I'm a hospital social worker. Twisted Tuba 12 says. You need to file to have her declared incompetent. She's in a coma. It would be a no-brainer for any court. Whatever lawyer told you it wouldn't work is wrong. Sasik73069 says. Also get in contact with Adult Protective Service. 3 can help you all find resources. Sunjinii says. First I would get documentation from at least one physician declaring her incompetent. The social worker at the hospital or facility can be absolutely instrumental in getting you all some resources too. If you let them know what's going on, they are mandated reporters and can make an apps report. You should additionally make an apps report. Department of Human Services is usually swamped, and unfortunately the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Find a different attorney, and look into emergency guardianship in your state. Bring as much documentation of your boyfriend taking advantage of her state as possible. Who is making medical decisions for her right now? Does she have a living will, or power of attorney? Or are you using a proxy for medical decisions? 21 Plankton says. The bank accounts will be closed after 30 days of overdraft. Contact the credit card companies to notify them of the problem. It is up to the companies to protect themselves. There is little you can do now except wait. Have the hospital apply for Medicaid for continuing catastrophic care for your aunt. For the boyfriend the gravy train will be stopping. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.